Hello Capricorn. This is a reading for Capricorn singles to see what you guys have as far as um, what's going on right now and seeing, you know, how you guys can really kind of, you know, get that love that you are seeking. What can you do to help your situation along, okay? So this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Capricorn singles. Let's see how you guys currently are. Hmm. I think you're eager. I think that um, a lot of this about, you know, being excited about where you're going, what you're doing, um, just wanting to, you know, bring newness into your life in general. Growth here. Okay. Some of you are really wanting to like travel. Um, I feel though that a lot of you guys have started, um, have met somebody here, okay? Somebody that you definitely are attracted to and have romantic feelings for, some of you already, okay? Let's see what kind of person that you guys normally attract. What kind of person does Capricorn normally attract? Hmm. I think you normally attract people that focus a lot on the past. Um, and I think, you know, people that stay in their shells a lot. They do a lot of like thinking and reflecting on things and, you know, how things didn't work out before. You know, what has gone wrong? If you're attracted to them, like, I think you attract somebody usually that you know stays in their head a lot okay somebody that does not really like to um to go to be on the move um, more of a homebody type of person okay let's see what you guys need to show off more about your personality here what does capricorn need to show off hmm i think that you are very loving you like to enjoy yourself, that you enjoy the finer things in life. You know, you like being at home, yeah, sometimes, but when it's time to step out, it's time to step out, is what I'm getting with this, okay? That you do show emotion, that you do offer emotion, that you're not all about the coin. You know, that's important, but you're not all about the coin, okay? You do like to date and all that good stuff spoon people you know you don't just have money to offer you have love to offer as well emotions for sure let's see what you guys need to contribute here what do my capricorns need to contribute hmm i think more of a spark is what you guys need to contribute um i think more fun times um more time in general you know, more of yourself to a situation. You know, you guys are usually very supportive. Um, and, you know, you enjoy taking care of the people that are around you, for sure, that's in your circle. But I think, you know, more of your um, spontaneous side, more of your fun-loving side, you know, that you're not serious all the time. Let's see, what do my Capricorns need to accept about yourself? Hmm. That sometimes you come off a little showy. Um, sometimes it you come across the people like, you know, you are all about the outer appearance. Um, you're all about the money. That you are, you know, more about the material aspects in life. Okay. Let's see what kind of love do you guys need here? What kind of love do my Capricorns need? Hmm. I think you need somebody that, you know, that is not necessarily younger than you, but somebody that has that vitality. Um, because I think you guys have that vitality, but a lot of times you don't show it. And I feel like you need somebody that's going to bring that out of you, okay? 
that is um, very lighthearted. Um, somebody that will keep you on your toes here. Okay. Fire sign, maybe Aries energy there. Okay. Aries Pisces, I feel. Okay. Let's see if you guys are ready to love. Hmm. Not quite. I think you guys are still kind of getting over um, some feelings of betrayal. Some feelings that, you know, you've been stabbed in the back by someone else. I think you are getting over it. But I think, you know, if the residual effects are still there. Um, and I think, you know, that has a lot of your focus currently here. But you're getting over that. Because tens are endings, okay? And maybe some of you have just, you know, broken up with somebody recently. And even if it hasn't been recently, you know, it probably was a connection that was very, very strong. And, um, you know, it's taken a while. It's taken a while for you to, like, get back on your feet from it, okay? Let's see how you guys will find love here. Hmm. I think it's by really being open to it. Um, I feel like a lot of you are feeling kind of scorned. Um, maybe by an Aquarius here. Somebody with air in their chart. But it does not have to be. But I think, you know, you're just really trying to get over that. You're trying to get past that. I feel like a lot of you are on guard. Um, that there's not very much that could push you over the edge before you cut somebody's head off, give them a tongue lashing, okay? Um, I think that you are leery of people currently, um, whether they are bringing truth to your door, or whether they're bringing lies, 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 okay? Either way, I don't think you are having it currently, okay? I think you guys, you know, have to work on letting go of um, the issues that you had with another situation before or situations because it be it could be some something that has been ongoing you know several relationships that just did not end well here that's got you feeling like you know kind of closed off you know your truth seeker here there's a need probably just to kind of you know take some time out to get over whatever it is that has um, brought you to this state of feeling very guarded wanting to lash out here okay let's see what attributes your next partner should have what attributes should Capricorn's next partner have hmm king of cups hmm the knight of swords there's that truth um, somebody that has a combination of, you know, they're emotionally stable, but they are also willing to be upfront with you, not move too fast, um, not be aggressive, give you what you need emotionally and intellectually here. I feel um, maybe Scorpio energy here, maybe an air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy okay I also feel maybe like Aries energy somebody that's lighthearted so um, maybe Pisces Aquarius Aries energy will probably be um, very good for you guys with some earth for sure in their chart because you need that that stable that you know that grounded energy as well okay so that is what I have for you, my Capricorns, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.